Uh, I slept hard last night. I do not want to wake up. Don't have a lot of options though. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. For the first time in over a week, I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. And I'm like way too excited about it. It's very bright out. My original plan, get coffee, do DoorDash, yada, yada, yada. Oh, I suppose I haven't really updated you guys actually. Kind of behind. So yesterday, very, very early in the morning, my brother and my dad um, had to leave. My dad helped with something at the church and um, technically my brother could have stayed longer, but my dad didn't give him that option. He had school to do anyway, so I ended up waking up when they did, and I, um, I gave them my bike back. Reason being is because I expected myself to use the bike a lot more often than I really was, but due to the inconvenience of, you know, having it, um, I was doing a lot more damage to it than I would have liked to, and it is kind of sentimental. It just wasn't worth it and it was taking up too much space on the rack for what it was. I was tearing it up. So I gave them my bike back. Uh, I feel like it was the best decision long term. After that, packed up camp. It took maybe two minutes to pop that tent down. I mean, it was just pop, 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 pull the end down. Super quick and easy, threw it in the bag, tossed it on my rack. Jeep went on ahead, he had to head back home. I left right behind him, but um, we actually ended up catching up together. I told him I was going to grab something to eat in town. We ended up going to some local restaurant in the area. It was pretty good. Both got a sandwich. He uh, paid for my ticket, so really appreciate that. Um, we ended up heading out, went our separate ways, and I went to Durant. So for now, I am here in Durant, and my plan for here is to do DoorDash. Last time I was here, I did better on DoorDash than I've done literally anywhere else. I actually really enjoyed it and it allowed me to make some money. Living on the road doesn't mean I just want to go out in the middle of the forest all the time. I love downtown areas. I love going to museums and stuff, and I, I didn't want anything to hold me back from feeling like I couldn't go explore these certain areas. So, you know, you go to certain places, there's hole-in-the-wall restaurants that maybe has famous food, you know, I, who doesn't like eating? And one thing that really bother, bothered me a lot when I was in places like Idaho Springs was going to these downtown areas and even feeling guilty for spending a few dollars on a cup of coffee because I knew that I wasn't making that much money. That being said, I want to go to Colorado. I wanna to go to Colorado this month. Before I do that though, I wanna make sure I have some money saved up. I already have been looking at some jobs I can do while I'm in Colorado. It kinda of helps me from getting bored. Before I can make YouTube my full-time job, I'm still going to have to take some days off where I either not in the middle of a forest or just not exploring and so for now until then I will be working some days so for this week I'm going to be focusing mostly on that I will still be taking you guys along with me still trying to film the process still trying to make you know interesting content at the same time but for the most part I'm going to be putting DoorDash ahead of all of it so I can get the money I need to get back on the road so that is my plan from here no, resume dash.
up hotel orders, it's, it's not uncommon. It's actually pretty common. My issue with it is they didn't give me the, like, room number. That's an issue. Um, so I had to contact customer support. Now I have another issue. A pet peeve, in fact. Why do people on customer support pages always, like, talk so fake? Like, listen to this. I, pr I truly appreciate that you're bringing this concern to us. I understand how important this issue is to be fixed immediately. And I realize this must have been difficult for you. Don't worry, you've got the right person on the line to help you. That's so unnecessary. Just talk to me like I'm a human being. Oh my gosh. Hello? Yes, the customer's on the other line. You can guys talk about the address. Since we don't have any option to provide any personal information such as addresses, name or contact numbers, I hope you understand. And you can guys talk about the address. The, the customer's on the other line. You can, guys, uh, you can now guys talk. Okay. Well, it is the next day, and uh, DoorDash killed yesterday. Let me tell you about it. So last night when I did DoorDash, um, I didn't start until like 5.30 because I was at the coffee shop all day working, um, literally all day. My, my original plan was to go in, um, same time I did today actually I would get there around 8 o'clock um, stay there till around 12 ish and then when I'm done I'll do DoorDash and then what I had been doing is DoorDash usually sl slows down around 3 o'clock so I go back to the coffee shop to do a little bit more work until around 5 or 6 o'clock when um, orders would pick up again and then I do DoorDash again um, I was doing that and I would make about a hundred dollars a day well I didn't start doing DoorDash until around 5 30 and I still made like a hundred bucks. So granted, I did not go to bed till like two o'clock. So I guess technically I only got five hours of sleep, but it's okay. I'm gonna still go, still, still kicking. Not a long day at the coffee shop today. Apparently it is very busy on DoorDash. I always have wiring issues. Hopefully it's just a fuse. That's what the office says he thinks it is. But now I'm wondering if it's a switch. I've had my brake lights go out before and there's like a little button that's behind the brake pedal so when you press on it, it might just be loose. Uh, just another thing to have to fix. Well, it's an ongoing issue. Always something else. Use your license back. Make sure to try to stop and get your brake lights fixed. I will. I'm going to deliver your, this order and then your, I'll, uh, I'll hop out. Okay. All right, yes, sir. You're good. Appreciate it. Thank you. So I was about to uh, take off the headlights, see if there's something wrong with the bulb, and I realized I don't have, like, a screwdriver just for easy access. I have one in the compartment up above, but I bought this thing here. This is pretty cool. It was at O'Reilly's. Uh, it's got like everything I could possibly want all on one thing. And so it, it's convenient. It snaps on like that. I toss that on there and I've got all these attachments. So that's super cool. I don't know what's wrong with the lights. The bulbs look okay. I wiggled this thing around. So I think it's the switch. And they didn't have the switch at O'Reilly's and I could have sworn I had a warranty on it. But it's like 25 bucks. And so when your pedal is depressed, it sets on this button and then when you press on it the button lets off so the cool thing about this is, is if I plug it in before I even bother installing anything theoretically it will turn my lights on if this is the issue if, as far as installing it it's kind of a pain in the butt um, so hopefully this isn't it well actually hopefully it is this because if it's not this I have no idea what it is
Well, I ended up figuring out what the issue was and I got it fixed. For now at least, because it was actually a wiring issue. But while I was messing with fuses and stuff, I noticed something else that was an issue. This rubber battery mount broke. So I ended up replacing it with this metal one. Um, I'm not a fan of it either. Both of these are cheap, but it's like the only ones I can find. I actually really like this one, but as you can see, it doesn't work. Not sure that's gonna hold up much better. Um, hoping maybe I can find a fabricator down the road who can help me build a better one. People say advantages of like going doing DoorDash and stuff is I get to go to places like this and I don't have to feel guilty for it because like, I'm just gonna go make that money back this looks amazing okay guys I'm about to head into the Opera House of Coffee again I'm gonna get some work done DoorDash isn't super busy today at least not at lunch it, it didn't do too good um, Hopefully it'll be better at dinner. It was really busy yesterday for dinner. But until then, there's nothing else for me to do other than computer stuff. We can get another coffee this afternoon. And then I'm gonna get back on DoorDash, try to get some money again. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for today. So I'm gonna go. I didn't do that.